Well, hello, everybody, and welcome to a series that I have been wanting to do for quite a while. Put it on the back burner. I'm now here in my uh, bliss world, uh, world, and we are going to do the first episode of Tiny Tubers. Tiny Tubers is a series that's been sitting on my back burner simmering for a long period of time. Uh, what it is about is taking people who do not get a lot of consistent views. They don't get a lot of subscribes. They're underrated channels. So typically they'll have about a thousand subscribers or less. There'll be some exceptions. They'll have somewhere in the 100 or 200 range of views with some exceptions or dips. And they'll be uploading regular content. We're focusing on Minecraft right now. And they're, they're just a good channel, you know. I'm, I find that their videos are helpful in some way or entertaining. And I, I they're underrated, as I said, so they need some more audience members. They need some more views because YouTube does not currently properly promote, I think, uh, some of these underrated channels. You wouldn't know about them otherwise. So, let's start right off. We're going to have three of these each episode. I'm going to try to keep these episodes uh, of this uh, series very short. And we'll start right off with a friend of mine. You guys know this guy. His name is Black Belt. Let's get into it. So, you will be seeing on your screen that we are currently on the live tab of Black Belt's YouTube page. And there you will see that he is over day 1,500. That's day 15 in his hardcore world. He's constantly upping his building and farming game. I keep missing his live streams and it makes me sad. I just can't seem to get my schedule to work, but uh, he's always showing up and saying hi in mine. He's always been very supportive of my work. I'm always supporting and cheering him on. He's just joined me for Philosophy SMP Season 4, and I don't know if he's going to jump in with the Vault Hunters or not. We'll wait and see on that one, but uh, give this guy a look. He He's been doing a lot of live streams lately. He does the occasional stream over on Twitch. And he's just a very fun person to watch. He's a very good presenter and he keeps having some really amazing ideas. So our next tiny tuber is a guy by the name of Brock. So Brock Logic Gaming came to me as a recommendation when I came into YouTube because I started looking at some of these what I call underrated or undervalued channels. Uh, YouTube started recommending more to me. So that's how I'm getting. I got so many. I've got like over a dozen folders with three uh, channels in it. I just watched a little bit of his video for his Mangrove Madness series. I hope I'm saying that correctly. That's the name of the series. I don't know for sure. Sure. Very humorous presenter, very engaging, very fun to watch, uh, very good at detailing what he's doing. He's showing how to create a bubble elevator in this video that I was watching. And uh, yeah, he's just really worth giving a look at. So go take a look at his content. He doesn't just do Minecraft. And uh, I think you're going to like his series. I think it's, it's a fun little watch there. And they're not super long episodes, so not like me. He's not long-winded like I am, so that's always good. Let's move on to the next person. So I stumbled on to Cascalini of Cascalini Gaming, I think when I was searching for a farm once. And he has a whole bunch of really good farms. He has a slight accent, but I had no trouble understanding him. And he's very good at detailing and describing the processes of building these farms. Excellent, worth a subscription for getting a hold of these different informations on different farms you might want to build. Some of his latest videos include a trident farm, and I think he had a mob farm or a creeper farm down there. I don't remember what video I came in here on, but very good resource even for finding farms for the latest versions of Minecraft. Go check out his channel. If you like what you see, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Do the same for Black Belt and for Brock Logic Gaming. Let me know what you think of these channels. I was looking for a way to do analytics for these fellas to help them understand uh, areas that they might need to work on their videos. I noticed that my friend Black Belt has some videos with a couple hundred views and other ones with only like 52. And that speaks to something in the analytics that he would have to study to find out what it is. I can't find anything for free that's comprehensive that would allow me to check the analytics of these channels. So I 
I can't provide any advice, um, but I will advise all three of these wonderful content creators to use that YouTube analytics tool. What you're looking for is a steady increase in viewer attention, retention, uh, you know, audience coming in and looking at your video, and then it should either continue increasing or it should flatline and stay at a flat line. If it goes down or dips anywhere, then you need to work on whatever you are doing uh, in that part. I hope that that helps you as a general tip. Thank you guys for watching this first episode of Tiny Tubers. I know it's a little rough. We're going to polish it up and get some intro and outro and all that sort of stuff, maybe even some music. But for right now, this is what I got. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next episode.